say about you? I believe that you are responsible for the murder of Helen and Richard Thomas and also the murders of Gwenda and Peter Dixon. All I can say is I'm sorry if you've got that opinion, but you're totally wrong. When I've pushed him a bit on um, how he always blamed everybody else for everything that's ever gone wrong in his life, it's sort of flicked a bit of a switch within him, I think, and that's the time he, we've seen the sort of different side to him. You're making things try to fit to John Cooper, and it's bloody annoying. But we got with his friends again, and it all comes back. You know, I just, your lady, you I said, said, you're trying to make things fit. I've tried to put you and give you information that you can check. You choose, you, you and your colleagues and them in there choose not to believe it. The time now is 1701, and no further questions, and turn the tape recorder off. Cooper was held in custody until the trial, where his many victims hoped finally to see justice. I know the levels of violence he can use. And it horrifies me that he's used them on other people. All this has dominated so much of my life, but I'm still having to go through this. I mean, I just want rid of this person. I just want my life back. The long-awaited trial of John William Cooper began in March 2011. You must judge me after the trial, not before. Judge me after the trial. He was charged with the brutal murders of Helen and Richard Thomas in their home. Peter and Gwenda Dixon on the Pembrokeshire coastal path. And an attack on five teenagers in Milford Haven involving the rape of a 16-year-old girl and the indecent assault of another. Even faced with substantial evidence, he would never admit his involvement in anything. I'm disgusted that he, he won't give some closure to, to uh, people out there. I'm disgusted. The trouble with the bully is beating you is only half of their pleasure. The other half of their pleasure is knowing that you're scared of them for the rest of your life. And I believe that's what he's doing to these victims by not telling them. Just get on the floor! David Powers police showed the jury the complex forensic evidence they'd spent years uncovering. Cooper had kept mementos of his offending that connected him to all of the crimes. When you look at those links, it's quite a compelling forensic link, John Cooper, to all those offences. Fifteen years on, the two girls who were raped and sexually assaulted described their experience to the jury. To actually have to relive the smells and the noises and their experiences and what he actually did must be absolutely horrendous and knowing they're doing that in a formal environment must be terrifying. After suffering years of physical and emotional abuse at the hands of his father, Andrew Cooper agreed to testify for the prosecution. I didn't have to go in the courtroom. I, I had a video link in the courtroom. I didn't want him seeing me. I just didn't think he had the right to even look at me after what he, at the embarrassment he's brought on my family and me. Some of his family supported John Cooper throughout the trial. On one hand, I've got people having to go at me for helping the police to convict him. On the other hand, then, I've got people having to go at me for being his son. So I'm in a lose-lose situation. I did what I thought was right. And I'll stand by that, and I'd have done it again. The trial lasted nine weeks. The jury took three days to come to a verdict. I remember looking at the jury and I um, thought... what they had to see <clears throat> and listen to would probably stay with them for the rest of their lives. The photographs the consequences of what a 12 ball shotgun will do at close range. No human being should see that. To see some of the jury members crying, uh, holding hands, 
uh, it was quite, quite something, which I'll probably never, ever experience again in my career. Cooper was found guilty on all charges. To quote the judge, the murders were of such evil wickedness that the mandatory sentence of life will mean just that. The impact was quite phenomenal. Um, none of us could speak, I don't think, for a few minutes. Cooper is where he belongs. We had a debt of gratitude towards Steve Wilkins and his team that I don't suppose we'll ever repay. And uh, the community has a debt of gratitude as well. I think for the public, it's a great thing he's behind bars. For me, even, it's where he belongs. It's, he's got to pay the price for what he's done. I just wish it had happened sooner. There was a dark shadow that was hanging over us. That person responsible for those offences was living amongst us. The fact that we were in a position to take Cooper to court, to secure that conviction and secure that conviction with overwhelming evidence, I think has lifted that dark cloud which has hung over us for many years.